Right, I thought I'd just do like a walk around and first of all, thank you guys for helping me reach the 30,000 subscriber mark. Um, and I'm just going to kind of show you guys what I have to do right now, just so you kind of know what's happening uh, with videos. So we've got the bug project here and what I have a plan is, is kind of doing some of the parts right now. Like I might take the fenders off, there's some rust on those and do some of the work on those and periodically as it's hot um, I'll work on those things. If you notice even early in the morning that lift right there is in the sun 100%. Uh, as the season heads on I get more shade from this tree here a little bit later in the year so as summer kind of comes you know like maybe August or something like that I'll get more shade over where that is so it's a lot easier to work there so I might be waiting a little bit to do more to that I know the Westies kind of been neglected uh, one of the reasons I haven't been working on this is I need to find and if anybody knows um, it might help out um, there's a place in I think there's a place in Arizona I know there's one in Florida that makes the headliner for this I don't really want to make it by hand. It's really kind of hard and very slow going to make. I was actually considering buying one of the interior kits from one of those guys. Um, there is one in Arizona I've heard of. There's also one in California. And I need to get prices from them to see if they have a wood kit for this. So I wanted the reproduction wood kit. They sell one, the headliner goes all the way over. I'm not sure how that's going to be affected with lumber prices right now. So that's uh, that's one of the reasons it's been on hold. Um, other than that, once I find a source for the headliner especially, I can, I can make the seats and stuff like that. I don't have a problem doing that. Um, but I would like to buy a headliner. It's just so much easier. It's a real pain to make that if you ever made it. I have to make it in... If I make it with regular plywood, I have to make it and put a seam down the middle. And then make the sides and it's really time consuming and it's just I don't know I'd rather buy it it would just be easier for me and then I can I don't mind making the corners uh, but I just don't really want to make the headliner itself so if you happen to know where that place is or how to contact them I've been looking and I just haven't really had enough time to dig around and find everything I need on that so it's been just sitting here not gonna hurt it much but you know I wish it had a place inside to be but it just doesn't right now so um, that's just the way it is um, I also need to get this project done this thing needs to get painted finish it up I got paint for it I just need to spend the time and do some body work and paint on this and then we're gonna do some driving videos in this there's a lot of interest in these old rabbits and and this one being the turbo uh, 1.9 AAZ engine it's not a regular turbo AAZ it's it's got a TDI turbo on it so it's a little custom and it's got a lot of power and uh, but I was gonna do a couple more videos on it fix it uh, and then sell the truck um, eventually when I'm done doing the stuff I want to do I want to get some video action on it because these things actually get a lot of watch there's a lot of people that are interested when I did the original build it really did well and I really want to just put a few more videos up on that so that's coming soon uh, on this thing camper I've got uh, they're trying to get the photo shoot set up for um, for this bus uh, we were trying to get a time together and I had some damage on this corner uh, what happened here is the paint was chipping away because uh, underneath where I did bodywork when I was building this bus um, there was I guess it had a master cylinder was leaking the the reservoir was leaking and it leaked the brake fluid out and I was backing it up and I stepped in the brake pedal and went to the floor and um, I grabbed the e-brake by the time I grabbed the e-brake I had already ran into my truck when I was going to back in out of the driveway and I thought I had got all the filler cracks out of it uh, but I think I must must have missed a few and had some stress cracks that came up later 
after it was painted. So I've just got this little spot repair to do here. I got to get this ready so that it can get on, um, you know, get the, they want to do a photo shoot and I've got to clean it all up and all this stuff. And I've got a lot of uh, regular work coming in for my regular, my, my regular business. So it's kind of hard to do all this stuff and do that at the same time. So, you know, that's, I've been working on this stuff. Um, also I'm watching a lot of working capital go away and it's taking a while for the customers to pay right now. So I got that issue as well. Um, so I'm, you know, cautious on spending a lot of money. So even though I'm, probably should just go ahead and buy all the interior for the Westie. I may hold off a little bit, um, but I've got some material to do some of the other things. So you might not see the videos in the order when you guys would like to see them. I'd love to finish the uh, bucket truck right now. But again, uh, you know, part of it's the heat. You know, I have materials for that, but part of it's a lot of that's the heat. Um, so I have that issue. So it's a bit of a balancing act right now. So I have to do some of stuff that I would not want to do right now. And some of the things that I would like to finish, um, or maybe you guys would like to see done too, um, might have to be uh, put back on the back burner. It doesn't mean they're not going to get done. Everything I do, I finish. You know, it's just, um, but I just have a lot of little things that are in the way right now of doing this project. I mean, if I'm in the shade, it's beautiful right now, but if I stand out in that sun for a little bit of time, it just wears me out and I won't get as much done. So I have to manage that. So anyway, that's why I don't want to work in the sun. Like I still need to do the undercarriage on this thing. I'll probably take it over to the other side, swap it out with the truck, the bus that's over there. I had to pull the engine on the bus. That was one of the things that I've been doing while you guys haven't seen videos. I had to pull the engine out. Um, the gas tank sending unit was bad replaced that put it back in then i had some other issues that happened from pulling the engine out um, you know there's a lot of stuff going on with that thing because it has the oil cooler separate oil coolers and all that stuff i had to work on the heater boxes which are kind of like this um, so i had to refabricate the top part um, originally i de had decided to design it this way for some reason it got misconstrued and was designed to where uh, the flapper was on this part so that as you raise the engine RPMs and as it builds up pressure, it would start to push it open. So I had to take them off to get the engine back in and in the way they were designed, it just didn't work out. I wanted to want them to actually be able to be removed without pulling the engine or pulling the exhaust. So I had to do some redesigning on them and it took me a few days just to do that. So a lot of little things like that I've been doing on that on the Westphalia. So again, it all adds up to time, you know. So anyway, just in a little bit of a, uh, a pickle of different little things that I've got to finish. So I also want to pull the wheels off of this car and paint them. See how they're all chipped? It just looks terrible. You know, it's all chipped. So this one... It'll take me a few few hours to do. So again, a few hours here, a few hours there. You know, then I'm into it a week. So it's just little stuff like that. If you don't see videos on the bucket truck, it's because I've just got a lot of little things in the way. Um, and that's just kind of what's happening. I just like to let you guys know so, you know, you don't think I just gave up on it. Um, I haven't at all. It's just, I just have other things that have to be done. You know, maintenance issues on the truck like my truck right now the injectors are uh, hazy so I have to uh, replace the injectors on it so I've got a lot of little things like that that are coming in that take a lot of, little bit of time you know that's a couple days work right there I haven't started that yet I'm kind of waiting for this big job that I've got next week to go away and then I'll probably have to stop and work on the truck so I've just got things like that in the way and you know it's just going to be a little bit of, of uh, stuff like that. And then all of a sudden we'll get busy and, you know, get back on this project and get that done. I'm not sure how that's all going to transpire. 
but those are all the things that I have in the back of my head, you know, that I've got to finish and I've got to, you know, it's just time divides up and I'm trying to figure out, you know, all those things right now. But if you guys know of somebody who has the Westphalia interior, that might help. Um, I could get that bus done real quick and then that would also help out with working capital um, for the other things. It's not, you know, not a major issue. So I could finish up that, maybe get it get that for sale i want to drive it a little bit you know first um you know stuff like that or i could end up doing the same thing with this finish this up and it would just be it's just one more thing i have to pay insurance on registration you know and i don't drive it i haven't been driving it in many years it's been sitting here since about I'm trying to think probably 2016 i haven't really driven this truck so uh you know it's been moved around a bit since then I've probably been sitting here a few years just in that same spot <laughs> I haven't moved it it starts right up I mean but anyway I got to get this thing got to get some of these little issues out of the way and then I can just move on with my big projects and keep going forward so anyway I'd like to give you guys a little shop update what's going on and thank you guys again for uh, helping us reach the 30,000 subscriber uh, you know milestone and I, I really think we're going to go to 100 pretty quickly. It's just, I just need a video that, 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 that seems to hit the algorithm that goes viral. And then I'll probably get a lot more stuff, you know, from that. And then that will help out too. So anyway, I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And see you then.